Hey, I just lost 100k. I used the sarin stone and ac- or cleansing stone and accidentally dropped my sandstone and then clicked it again. So that's fucking awesome. Hey, what's up, guys? Reese here. Welcome to another video. This is Iron Man Progress episode 160. I know it's 160 this time because I just finished the episode 159. So, Metaphos is out. Um, I know Metaphos is out and I was doing mining in Metaphos, which is really fun in like AFK, doing sandstone. So, I was really happy with that. But then I realized I kind of wanted to do that to like 88, 89 or whatever, then do. Uh, Seren stones to 99, but then I realized there's no point because I need 80 smithing still and I need to do concentrated gold to get 80 smithing So it'd be silly to keep on doing mining there So we're going for prayer while we can while this hours on at least maybe we'll grind it Without the arrow on I don't know But I want 89 prayer or whatever it is to get the super heat form And then I'm gonna go mining in the living rock caverns and get 80 smithing after mine like 20k gold ore or something or at least do a bit and then Smelt normally whatever I've got in my bank in gold or left, but yeah I really want to get that 80 so I can get invention unlocked and when it feels like I'm doing bossing and just Slayer and stuff like that it feels like I'm actually getting something else with it So it's it almost feels pointless doing Slayer without invention unlocked at the moment And then I'll finally get to destroy all my stuff all my rune items I think they're gonna be worth destroying not our king I'm not sure but all my rune items all my other just random crap I've got that I've been collecting for so long. I just want to destroy so yeah hope hopefully this video is good. Welcome to it, guys. Not exactly sure what's happening, but we're just doing some prayer at the moment. We are 85. Well, fuck. I'm gonna... I was like, oh, fine. I'll just do a bit of fishing while here. You can't use this deposit box. This can be unlocked after reaching rank 2 of reputation in the port of... Uh, port district of Menophos. Which one's... Merchant district, Imperial district, Port district. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to start... I'm gonna start going for the ports district then, because I kind of want to do some fishing here. You cunt. How do I set this? No, this is my new rep. <laughs> Friendship ended with <laughs> uh, Imperial District. Port District is now my new best friend. Let's go. I think we might just do a bit of mining then. Like, we might end up getting a, two, a few levels which might be s stupid. Wait, is it left click drops? Not. So, yeah, we might end up getting a few mining levels which might be a waste in hindsight because, you know, it could be used on smithing. But I want to get that rep. But even saying then, I think you're probably meant to do quests before you, and that gets you, like a whole 5k rep or something, one of the quests. So maybe I should look into that if I don't want to be a complete idiot. Gifting tombs is apparently the best rep. Uh, way to get rep, I suppose. Yeah, so doing mining or fishing, I might just do wood cutting then. Wood cutting and burn it into fire making, because that could get me some XP, and I kind of need those XPs. So that wouldn't be bad, actually. That's probably a good idea. All right, guys, a little update on this. Been doing wood cutting in that for, like, maybe a an hour, maybe an hour and a half, something like that. Uh, so far, like, the rep's going pretty well. They're almost at 6,000. Probably actually more like two hours. But we got a fire making level at 81. Woodcutting's almost got a level as you can see. You actually do get rep for burning logs. I didn't think you did at one point. Um, like you don't get it like per log. You just get it like randomly. Like you'll just do like a whole inventory and then, and then you'll get like like 150 or something just randomly pop. So I'm not sure if that goes after a certain amount. Like after 20 logs you get some rep or something like that. So that 25 just there. Maybe I was lying about 150. But yeah, just a random chunk instead of per log. So yeah, it's going well. Um, it's, I'm probably meant to do the quest or something, but either way, that X, if I'm missing rep from a quest you can get, you can I can always use that for something later on. But at the moment, I just want to get that, which I'm close to it, and then I'll be able to do fishing. Well, I'm and I'll be AFK fishing while waiting for the Ithil hour. And then when the Ithil hour comes up, I'll be getting a few hundred K XP in prayer. And then back to fishing. That's what I'm going to be doing for the next few days until I get uh, 80... Is it 90 or 91 um, prayer is the goal. I'm almost out of money, though, so... We'll see. <laughs> Might have to be a bit of an intervention in the middle there. I think I have some bones and ashes still in the bank as well, so we've got some XP banked there. But yeah, going well, guys. I'm liking this. It's fun. People, have, I, I remember in my Metaphors video I uploaded, I haven't, well, I haven't uploaded it yet. I remember making it, though, because I made it today. Um, some people complaining on Reddit, actually, because I, when I thought it, when I saw it came out, I didn't see anyone complain. Um, but, you know, now looking at Reddit, a lot of people complaining about Metaphors, as they have with every update in the last, like, two years. Um, but yeah, so far for mid-levels, I'm liking Metaphors. I... I mean, the rep might be annoying, maybe, but, you know, for me, it all gets gets stuff. Like, I need the XP, anyway, you know, and I'm mid-level kind of player, so it's, it's all useful. All right, cool, guys. I only got, like, what, one fire-making level, which was pretty close. Didn't even get a wood-cutting level. Still pretty close to the wood-cutting level, but we've gained 5,000 experience. We're at now a Tier 2 district in ports. So, it was one, you start with 1,000 after you do the quest, I think, and now I'm 5,000, which is 6,000 out of 18,000. It does not reset when you get to Tier 2. Like, it's not like 5,000 XP, then Tier 2 is 10,000 XP. It's like you're starting at the XP you were, if that makes sense. Kind of just like the normal levels in the game I work. I work that works, I suppose. I have words are fucking up. But yeah, there we go. So, we're going to check how much 5,000 rep 
uh, how long that took us doing these trees in XP. So if we'll check out, we're going to check our fire making XP and our wood cutting XP. All right, so we gained our fire making XP. Um, we ha now have, after I reset it on Rune Tracker, we've got like 143k fire making. There was probably like five or 10k there before, and then wood cutting is 80k. So you get more fire making than you do wood cutting. And yeah, so 80k wood cutting, 143k fire making to get 5k rep. You know, cool, I suppose. So you think about it like that, it's really not going to take that long if you only want to get tier two. Fuck knows how long it's going to take if you want to max out all the things through wood cutting. It's probably not the best way to do. Like I say, shifting totems is a good way for XP, but uh, I mean for rep, but fire making XP and wood cutting is what I would, what I need. So it doesn't hurt. And now I am fishing forever. I am now just a lonely fisherman running through my days. But this is good, man. Like. I'm not sure how long I'm going to do this. I want to do this for AFK, but I also need, like, this is good for, this will be, ah, actually, no, this will come in useful, because this will be good until, like, 120 Slayer. Depends how much I catch here, because, you know, this isn't good for higher level content, obviously, but, you know, what was it, 1650, one of the foods healed, so not bad overall. All right, guys, fishing seems we get rep quicker than the woodcutting did at least, so now we have tier 2 in Imperial and then tier 2 in Port, which we got before, so we're going to swap over. We're just doing, because we don't know what we really want at the moment, so we're just doing like each one slowly. So we're just going to go for this one, and we'll go for tier 2 in Merchant now. So yeah, just doing some prayer now. Also, I totally can't believe I forgot it. I forgot about Araxor. I haven't done it in a few days. I was like, oh yeah, Metaphos is out. Just going to be grinding Metaphos. I was like, I still need to do a fucking Araxor a few kills a day. Jesus. So yeah, that'll, that'll be in the videos as well, guys. Alrighty. Uh, we got a prayer level there at one point, 87 prayer. The hours, I think, is about to end in two minutes. Oh, I guess we'll squeeze one more stone in there. We're below uh, 10 mil now at 77... 77 mil. 7.7 .7 mil. Um, I, I don't know if I've done my calculations wrong or what, or it just seems like it's, we're losing a lot of money. We have fucked up a few times, but yeah, we started, what, 22 mil or something like that? Or at least, like, 18 mil? And we've gone from about 83 to 87, or, like, 84 to 87, and we've lost, like, almost a whole stack already. And it's like, oh, God, we've got so much, so much longer to go. I think it might uh, pump out like two Araxor kills or something like that. See how I'm feeling? Most hated thing that can happen at Araxor when you fucking... Ugh, just Death Swiftness and he goes straight into a cocoon or whatever. And you're just like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just fucking kill myself. All right, guys. First Araxor kill in a while. Fucking terrible. Like, used so much supplies and stuff. But got the kill. And three overload flasks and 50 rune oil. So it's awesome. I'm going to do it after this kill. I'm wasting my overloads. I know. I'm going to go make some portents. I'm going to go... Uh, thieve some feathers and I'm going to turn, um, I'm going to make some like anti-fires, so I'm going to turn my super anti-fires and four dose overloads into a six dose, uh, like, whatever it's called, it, fucking overload fire potion, um, which won't be very useful, but it will extend all my four dose overloads to six at the, at the loss of a four dose, uh, anti-fire, so it's worth it. Okay, I need to make like a sign of life or something like that, because I almost died to something that was complete bullshit there. So I had my death swiftness down in the last phase. Prayer flicking fine in that. The little ball bounced on me. It bounced on me. And either I timed it wrong or it didn't move far enough. But bounced on me. Hit me like once. I moved I moved back to where I was. And it just didn't like reset itself. So it bounced on me like three times instantly. And like almost fucking destroyed me. But there we are. Second rack or kill. Ignore Hydrix bolt tips. Because yeah, it's getting really scared. I'm using all my brews and stuff. I'm using sharpshooty like you guys say. But I don't know. You say it should be quicker and use more and use less supplies, but I'm using more supplies, but it could be just because I'm rusty, I haven't done it in a few days. But yeah, I'm giving it a go, giving it a fair shake, but using, what, 13 fucking brew plus 6 there. Yet sometimes I'm left with, like, heaps. So, who knows. How does stuff like this work? I'm literally, sorry, bad use of the word literally, but I'm mining crystal flex sandstone, and my ring of wealth shines more brightly, and I receive absolutely nothing. Unless coins went into my coin pouch, I don't understand why stuff like that happens. Why? Did it, act, did it mine me two of them real quick or something? Like that, nothing's happened. Why would it shine more brightly? That makes no sense. Alright, so the highest level porter I can make, I guess is this one, is a sign of the portal, blah, 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 20. So that's 20, that's good. Vibrant energies, emerald necklaces. So I need to make some emerald necklaces and get some vibrant energies. And then I can thieve some fucking cheeky little, uh, little, little uh, birdie fucks. With their fiery feathers. Um, emerald necklaces, I guess. I remember using them up ages ago to make portents, but hopefully by now I have some emeralds back. Oh, not even a lot. Oh, I was about to say, not even a lot. 127 cut, 400 old uh, uncut, so we're fine. Gold bars, vibrant energy. I don't know, don't know if we have much of those, but you can get like fucking 10k an hour just collecting them, so we'll be alright. Um, yeah. 
Let's make some necklaces. All right, I've made uh, 23 and that cost me like a thousand uh, uh, energy. So I've already given up on making like all of those a hundred odd, but 23 and they're 20 each one. So it's more than enough feathers to save a few overloads. So I think I'll be all right. All right, guys, uh, I worked through my anxiety and I came back and I got some more stuff and we have fucking a billion signs of the porter here. Chuck one on. Let's go to the desert and get... Well, we're not going to use all of them, because that's like 20 per one, so it's a fucking quadrillion things right there. Don't need to go... That's too far, Bennett Camp. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's go get some of those phoenix feathers. Right, we just used a few porters. Let's see how much feathers we collected. Um, 149. So yes, that would be more than enough to help out some overloads here. Let's see if we have any normal anti-fires. And we do. Beautiful. All right, guys, I should have no problem making these now. Should we be able to make a searing... Oh, no... Bright fire. No, oh no, I'm trying to make a searing overload, you fuck. If I don't got the level or something like that, I mean, I probably have to boost, but which one is it? 97. Oh. Okay. So, yeah. No, I'm not. I can't boost that high. Oh, okay then. I didn't realize it was 97. Oh well. There goes that idea. Obviously, I can boost that high with, like, spicy stews and stuff, but, you know, I can't bother doing that all at the moment because I'd rather just kill myself. You guys have come through. I love you guys. So, I got a few comments just now, actually, on my video yesterday of Metaphors. Uh, people asking or telling me um, about how to become your own slayer mask. I heard something about that, but I wasn't sure if that was, like, just, I don't know, not a thing or something. But apparently, you go to Port's District, talk to Portmaster Craig or Craig, um, to become your own Slayer Master, run your own Slayer Dungeon. So, we'll find him, and that sounds really fucking fun. Oh yes, Australian worlds are complete cunt. I haven't even, like, explored this place yet, like, properly. I don't know what fucking good old Craig is, I think I might have to Google him. Ports District, there isn't too much NPCs around, so I don't understand why I can't find him. I'm a bit of an idiot. I mean, it's definitely, the, people said the Ports District's right. Maybe they were lying. I don't know. Transport. Maybe it's near one of the transport things. What a what a great content. It's not. By content, I mean me recording me doing nothing. Hmm, this is interesting. Not the same guy, but this guy's name's Portmaster Cags. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Teleport to the Sunken Pyramid. This looks about right. Maybe people were wrong about the name, or I read it wrong. Uh, oh no, people said it with a C. That's why you push the door, it touches your head. Ooh. Woo, dungeon! What is this? I don't understand anything that's happening, but I'm happy to be here. Add soul, soul of chess. Woo, woo. <laughs> Fucking hell. Woo, woo, you can make out the words, but you sense what we're saying is laced with sarcasm. Do I actually need to go get a uh, ghost speak amulet? Woo, woo, woo. Well, fuck you then. All right, attempt number two. Let me kill all the monsters. So your journey has finally led you here, Slayer. Damn right, cunt. I mean, sorry. Um, I'm a spirit now, bound forever to this place. Preserve everything we hold sacred. What is this place? This is where it all began, where I, one of the seven original Slayer Masters, placed my sword and swore that I would forever be more dedicated to the deliverance of souls of the afterlife. Yeah, fuck off, you little shit. Welcome to the Order of Slayers. Oh, this sounds pretty cool, actually. This is the origin of everything you have trained for. My life ended long ago, but little did I know my promise truly meant forever. Wow, this is... You can make a book out of this. And you are here because it's time for you to begin your journey of becoming a Slayer Master. A Slayer Master? Yes. If you accept, over time we will teach you everything there is to know about our order. So do you wish to begin? Is it... Can you actually... Does it actually progress to you when you be actually become a Slayer Master? Or is it just start and now you are forever? Who knows? Whether there's actually progression. Excellent. So what do I need to do? We need to go back to the start. All the monsters you have fought and killed so far have developed your combat skills against them, but it's not enough. Now it's time to understand them. Every creature has a soul that sparks, that spark within them. Shouldn't that be that sparks within them? I don't know. That is the base for everything that they are. As part of your training to become a Slayer Master, I request your assistance. The Order of Ruin, the Order is in ruins, covered in a magic that has locked away the secrets of our past. You must capture these souls and deliver them back here. Each soul gathered will weaken the spell that is placed over the Order over all those years. In return, I will order you further training. Okay, cool. Uh, what do I have to do? What do I, uh, what do I have to actually do? I think I have to kill like, every Slayer Monster ever existed, or some weird shit. So that's cool. Um, Slayer Codex. Do I actually have to kill them all? That's not even a monster. This is going to take forever. What's this? Kill Slayer Monster order to capture their souls. 25. Do I have to actually do this whole Slayer Codex, or is this thing to work out over time? Or do I have to now go kill every 146 monsters? 
These are the newer ones. Is that what it's telling me to do? Because surely some of them I don't even have them unlocked, right? Like, lock mine quests and stuff. TD, yeah, I can't do TDs and glaciers. Alright, maybe we won't worry about that. Maybe we'll just do a slight task with this this jar in our, in our hand. Let's see what that helps with. Can I get a slight task from here, or do I have to actually just go back to normal slow master? Um, can you explain why I need to? All the monsters you have fought and killed so far have developed your combat skills against them. Okay, yeah, I heard that already. I don't want to kill the monsters, though. <laughs> oh, Alright, let's just go get a task from, like, a normal one and then do it with this in our inventory and see what that does. Oh, I'm so happy. I just remembered I can get a task like this because I have 99 Slayer. I don't need the VIP ticket. I think that's what's happening. Uh, 204 Abyssal Demons. Sure, let's do them. Cool. Ah, uh, don't skip that, you idiot. Let me see if there's any new rewards. Oh, what is this? The Hold the Soul. I already have one of those. I don't know. Empty. Do I want it to be empty or not? Um, is there any new monsters I can prefer? Like, prefer the new monsters inside of that other dungeon or anything? To assign nightmare creatures? Children of Mars, that's not what I thought it was. Okay. So I don't think there's anything super new here that I'm missing out on. Do I have that? I don't know. Um, okay, let's just go kill some Abyssal Demons and see what happens. Alright, I haven't done Slayer in... A well, not ages. I did one the other... Uh, task the other day, but I haven't done one in melee in ages, and I haven't done um, Abyssal Demons, let's see Attack Strength Defense, that's fine um, So yeah, actually Ah, stop running, we don't need Defense XP We get Defense XP with everything else So yeah, we're, we're trying melee, we got the Enhanced Excalibur We got some DPS gear, boys And then, because that'll probably fuck up We got uh, melee Sun Spear, which is probably better DPS then Enhanced Excalibur, which is, Enhanced Excalibur is meant to be like, I mean, not Enhanced Excalibur, but the Enhanced Dark Lights is meant to be like tier 90 or something, isn't it? So who, who knows? Also, I'm pretty sure everyone camps with Abyssal Demons these days. This was the f straight up here, first world open. Hopefully these aren't fucked. I heard, uh, they fucked with, um, what do you call them? Uh, those other monsters. So hopefully these ones aren't fucked. The Dark Beast. Yeah, so I kind of want the, uh, Sun Spear because AoE, but we'll see. So. Ah, uh, Okay. Shut up. I guess that didn't do anything. Just die real quick. Oh no, that sucks, man. Dude, this sucks dick. Having to kill like four of them at a time. Let me get, get the fucking melee. Let's go. Get the AoE. Grab them all, race, And just fucking just swipe them down forever. Until they're dead. Deaded. Until they're, they're gone. Dude, they're not very... They don't like me. There we go. That's better. And then they, these ones, I aggroed them. They're not, they're not interested, are they? <laughs> Cheeky fucks. So yeah, I'll tell you if anything happens and we get any souls or whatever. Actually, if uh, if this was open, maybe upstairs is open as well. Maybe I'll be lucky. Because I didn't even bother. I was like, oh, upstairs is normally so packed. But maybe it's not. Ha! Huh! What is going on? People are busy with mana fast. Also, I'm not using piety because I want to... I think I'm pretty sure I can do this one trip. But yeah, this is the better one. Get over here, cunts. I'm trying to remember... No, I always use melee up here. I'm pretty sure. It's just, yeah, been a while. I can't remember. <laughs> Hey, 86 Slayer. So, so far, it doesn't seem like I've got anything. So, either I'm missing something and I need to, like, put something in there first. Or, like, souls are just really rare. See, if you just click it, it says it's empty. Kill Slayer monsters, capture their souls. It doesn't say, like, and you need this other bit or you need to start this or you need, you know. So, it's fun to just uh, kind of learn as you go instead of Googling it. But we'll see. So it's either completely rare or I'm just a fucking idiot. Boys, we've got a clue scroll and we're back up to 5 mil. The best. It's actually pretty good because we started this uh, this task with 4.4 um, mil in the coin patch. So yeah. Alright, well there we go. Task complete with what looks like no uh, things at all. No no souls. Soul catchers don't say kill slayer monsters in order to capture their souls. What do you mean? Let's go check that book once we get back to the bank, and maybe that book has got Abyssal Demons t ticked off now. I don't know. A little checky. Zero out of 146 monsters. Oh, do you have to get all the souls for all those monsters before that happens? Not just kill them once? Or you have to just kill every one of those monsters once with the book in your inventory? I don't know. What we're going to do is we're probably going to waste some side points. I think it costs 20. We're going to go to this shop, uh, the shop or the more friend over here, and buy whatever that thing was. We're going to see if this changes anything. Where is it? I saw it right. That is that thing, right? Buy one of them. Oh, it just gave me an extra charge. Okay. Oh. I don't know. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Am I a fucking retard? Don't answer that. I know what the answer is. Let me fucking go to here. 
Oh, I just assumed like you would probably like kill them and then it would, they would soak into this. I bet you have to use them on the monster or something stupid, right? And I get as the comments are probably like, "Fucking the puppy, kill yourself, Reese, you fuck." Something like that. So yeah, maybe we'll try that quick. I don't know. We're not on a slave house anymore. I don't know if that will matter. Is crawling hands on this thing. Fucking use this on you, you cunt. No. Hmm, crawling hands. Maybe not. All right. Nothing happens when you use it. Use it as it's dying. As it dies, come on. There you go. Nothing happens. Okay, great. Got the codex in my inventory now as well. I've killed one with the codex in my inventory. Let's see. See if that changes anything as well. Go down. Still 0 out of 40, 146. Okay. I'm not going to Google it in this video. By the next video, I'll know what's going on, but it's fun now. Also, it's totally smooth on my computer. I want you guys to know that, but the footage is really fucking laggy for some reason. Like, I'm not lagging at all, but the FPS of the recording is broken, so I'm sorry about that, guys, at the moment. So of course, I'm Googling it. I initially given to a player 25 to 46, depending on the Slayer level and additions, one to be personal Slayer Master. Uh, they can be trapped the souls of Slayer Monsters ki killed, used to fill up Slayer Codex in the chest of souls in the Sunken Pyramid. Ujibijibi, have a chance upon kill to trap a monster soul inside. This chance is increased while on a slayer assignment with a monster. So did I get none? So I did a whole task and I got not a single soul. Is that what's actually happened? Great. Alright boy, after some Gremmel spikes for a little, little challenge there. And the first one I get is some spikes. Except I need heaps of them. Love it. Quickly smashed out a few of those. 48 spikes. Easy. Give me that XP boy. 50k XP, rolling in it, mate. 10 qualms. Guys, I want to point out, uh, I think it was in this video I was saying about the wood, test out the woodcutting. I was like, it doesn't seem too good. Apparently, with Crystallized, the Crystallized Prayer, it is the best woodcutting XP in the game. I think it's the, wait, is it Crystallized a prayer? Something Crystallized um, is what people are saying. Because, wait, there's a super heat form that burns logs and smelts ores. Is there also, like, another one that's fancy for woodcutting? Because I know there's a hunter one. Is that what Crystallized is? I don't know how that affects trees, because I'm a fucking idiot. But, yeah, apparently that is the best for cutting XP in the game now, so that's cool. Cool. Boys, we did it. We got a, uh, I'm not very excited because it's, I don't know why they keep on adding kind of like, they're pets, but they're like so not rare, like everyone gets them just by doing a little bit of fishing. It's not like as rare as a skilling pet. Slimy egg. It's cool to get, but I'm pretty sure that, there we go, squid pet. It's like when they did their waterfall fishing, which I haven't done, but there's like a pet in there that's like really easy to get as well, apparently. But sure, why not? Um, I don't know what it's... Squack, is that it? It's like this cool little dude. I guess you can't override your familiars. Can you? I don't know if that would work, but probably not. But you know, little petty. It's cool. But it just feels weird getting pets from skilling that like... But there are multiple of them. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Cool though, awesome. Little good pet. You just get it from doing this. And it happens. The one thing that pisses me off about this fishing, I know it's because you're in like a desert climate, but all the fish are yucky and brown coloured. Oh, it pisses me off, but whatever. It looks so depressing. All right, I'm not sure how long ago it was clipped, but I remember saying the woodcutting crystallized was, crystallized was the best, and I was like, what is crystallized anyway? Blah, blah, blah. I think it's the ancient prayers, uh, uh, magics, not the curses. Like, uh, the new magic spells. I think that's what it is. So, yeah, leave me alone. Also, I'm so sorry about Facebook. I swear I get the worst timing. Everyone tells me to mute it. Well, fuck off. Maybe I want to hear those cool beeps. But, yeah, no, um, yeah, no, sorry about that. So, it's, it, I'm pretty sure it's like... The thing is, from those new quests and that, I've done them on my other account when they came out. I just never used them because, you know, I was very max and boring and I wasn't doing anything. So, yeah. All these kind of, like, new things, I kind of know about them, but I don't because, like, I'm not up to them on my Iron Man yet. So, sorry for getting things wrong, as usual. And I'm probably wrong about that as well, anyway. See, look, there it is. And I've done the light within, I think, so I could even use them. That's hilarious. Fuck knows what it does, but it somehow gives you more XP. Yay! <laughs> look at these guys. Ancient Dawn and Buggy. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. There we go, 88 prayer, 134 combat, we need to get to, uh, I think 91 it is, so yeah, that could be uh, troublesome, what is it, 91, yeah, so we need three more levels, which is some XP set, level target, 91, let's see how much coins we need, X, uh, we need, what is that, 15 mil coins, to get 1.5 mil XP, I think that's how it worked out, so we need 15 mil Coins. Shit. Actually, you guys can tell me, should I alk all my items, like all my rune items and stuff like that? I got a lot of stuff in the bank. Should I alk that? Or should I keep that for disassembling with invention? What do you guys reckon? Tell me, please. Alright, guys. Hydra challenge. First time ever making hydras. 42k. That was a doubled 
And six room... Weird. Room bars. Okay. Jesus Christ, guys. I didn't realize this video was like 25 minutes long. I'm sorry. I don't know what I've done. I've achieved nothing in 25 minutes. See you guys. Bye-bye. Like it if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more.